For some of the people who may not necessarily know about your legendariness, let's first start with the moment that you both met. Our legendary <laughs> begins actually down the block from this building. That's amazing. Yes, when you're both native New Yorkers. Bob oh, I worked at 652 Broadway. Oh, wow, amazing. Like two blocks down, and uh, I was uh, doing promotions. So it, it might have been a Friday. In fact, I think it was because I used to DJ at a club called MK on 25th Street. On Fridays, I'd go record shopping, likely in this building, which is 4th and Broadway, which is where Tower Records was. It closed in 2006. I likely would come down to this building, buy records of the shops along the way, met a friend of mine nearby. She said, what are you doing? I said, I'm going to Def Jam. So oh, what are you doing there? I'm going to get records. Oh, I've got the biggest crush on Robert Garcia. <laughs> I was like, all right, it's good to know people at Def Jam because Def Jam is the ish, so I'll keep that name in my pocket. I went to Def Jam, went inside. It was a Friday. Nobody was in the office. It was just a ghost town. I'm walking through the Def Jam offices. Summer Fridays, probably. This is 1990, right? Like, Def Jam is popping. I stick my head in the conference room, and I see a Latino brother stuffing records, 12-inch vinyl, into envelopes likely to send out to DJs. And I was like... Is, is there a Robert Garcia here? And he's like, that's me. <laughs> and oh, your memory's incredible. And we became, we, 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 we really, the tea. we became instant friends. And, and the radio show that we did coincided with sort of the evolution of our friendship. Um, and, uh, and, you know, it was like we lived together. We would do this show on Thursday nights from 1 to 5 a.m. A lot of the humor was an extension of what was going on in our daily lives and at home. Um, and, uh, you know, so it, it was less a case of us, you know, broadcasting, you know, thinking about what the people wanted to hear. It was more like, okay, we're on the radio in the middle of the night and you're welcome to come into our kind of loony world, which happened to also have a lot of really great music. 